What's going on everybody? So today we have another video and this time we're talking a little bit about the events, um, specifically the new event that's coming to the game. And I figured I'd do some dailies while I'm talking about this. So what uh, are we going to be addressing today? Well, we're going to be addressing the absolutely terrible pay to win events um, that are just honestly pretty miserable. And uh, right now we're talking about the supply run and wheel um, fantasy. It says it's going to be on September 26th to October 3rd. So if we jump into game here and just check out uh, the rewards here, we have the new supply run, which, by the way, I want to say that this is a really cool part of the event. So I do want to appreciate that. We also have the gotcha system. <laughs> and this system is absolutely terrible <laughs> i don't really know how, know how to say that except it's just bad um so right here this wheel of fantasy this is basically just you drop your coins in and you hope to get one of the rare rewards there isn't really any other methodology or, or a way to min max we do happen to have the journey store here with this other event with the phase two and you get a new mount it looks like with some extra stuff which is really really cool um, and i really like this and i'm so so glad that they're putting in this event or an event like this with the kind of super pay to win aspect so you can see here the phase one uh, we have to go ahead and defeat a bunch uh, of thugs and use some password chests very very simplistic very very easy to do and you're going to pick up the rifts energy cells and you're going to turn them in very very simplistic you're just going to go ahead and do certain things daily quests uh opening chests slaying hyenas things like that um or world bosses in phase two or event instances in phase three we can also trade warp cells for the event kind of tokens and then uh we're going to go ahead and donate warp energy cells etc etc and we can go ahead and pick up all the rewards in the store presumably now this is a really really interesting event in terms of it's just free rewards realistically um this isn't anything out of the normal that you would be doing finishing world bosses and things like that so in my opinion this is just free rewards um there is very different from the previous one where you would just have to actually actively do like a race or um a 2v2 arena or the little interstellar explorations that you'd have to do it's not like that it's very very simplistic in terms of it's um you know what you actually have to do during the day so it's 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 very very different from that and it's hopelessly different from the gotcha system event so to me right now these events are very boring they're they're not interesting um they're not bad per se you log in for your daily rewards and then you log off now if we look at the player base right now a lot of players are looking forward to 2.0 a lot of players are quitting before 2.0 unfortunately and the main reason you keep people in these mobile games is through these events now i do want to mention that i'm not bashing the game uh, and i'm truly trying to go ahead and get the best for the game which is why i make videos on the things that i think are um you know problems for the game that's what we all do we're trying to make sure the game is more successful because i don't know if you all realize the more we make the game successful the more money i'm not monetized on this channel but the more money all the youtube content creators make so the only purpose that we're trying to do with these videos are one to get views on our videos and then two get more views on the next videos which how would we do that get more people to play the game so regardless of what you think we're trying to do the whole point of us trying to make videos generally speaking is to make the game better and i think that the best way to do that in mobile games generally is to go ahead and get as many players playing per day and then coming back for the next day and the best way to do that is through events now i'm gonna compare this to something like raid shadow legends here which obviously these are two separate games um and you're gonna have very very vastly different perspectives in both games but what raid really does well in terms of you know keeping people locking in every day is going ahead and getting people excited and interested in events for the good rewards that they give now some of them are pay to win as well uh, just like this game but what you do in that game is you encourage daily activity through these events here i'm not even sure what what bounty this is but you're supposed to go ahead and have people locking in so you can get as many people playing per day and as many people progressing per day and with this event 
it's completely RNG based and 99% of the time you're going to get nothing. And I'll pull my tokens here at the end of the video just to see what I end up getting. But it is absolutely insane that there is no way to grind for these things. There's no way to go ahead and do daily activities, even if you're not able to get all of it. The fact that you're able to get basically nothing without expending dark crystals is a little sad because obviously they already make the limited banners completely reliant on the dark crystals if you're free to play. And even if you're a whale, you don't really necessarily want to be spending your dark crystals on this random event for a cosmetic because, again, you want your upgraded characters. So no group of people wants to participate in this event unless you really want the cosmetic. And that's where they get you. You're going to have to spend $100, $150 to get the cosmetic. That's all you're really getting. You're not really getting much else. Um, and, and that's really unfortunate. There should be some sort of repeatable event. There should be some sort of way in the game, not necessarily to go out and grind out everything um, in the event, but some sort of way to go ahead and actually get some progress in the event. Uh, the, the, the disparity is the real big problem I have with this event. I have no problem with having a pay to win event where if you've saved resources, you can actually choose to invest into a cosmetic um, and still have some left over. But the problem is, is that we would have to invest basically all of our dark crystals as free to play in order for us to get this cosmetic. You can see here in my backpack, I happen to have about 12,000 dark crystals. I'm saving for Cobalt B. I know she got nerfed um, again from what I understand, but it's not a huge deal to me. I'm still excited about her. But the big issue is, is that I don't have really a choice at all. Uh, it's, it's either, um, well, I shouldn't say that. I have a choice of going one summon, one character, or the cosmetic um, and it's not like i can go grind to make that burden a little bit easier again if we look at the event here uh and just open up the event menu i could see literally that if i wanted to go ahead and get these i'm gonna go ahead and pull my five tokens and maybe i get super lucky here i probably will not get anything i'd love to get these booster modules to be honest um and we did happen to get a ssr relic shard which is actually pretty cool so we got one of the um ssrs but this one has 15 of it so again you can see here i'm getting basically nothing these matrix trips don't really mean much for me um hopefully i get a booster module here i end up gonna go joint supply chip which is cool i guess i'm not gonna be too mad about that but you can see here i've already just done five and what i've gotten is one joint supply chip two uh space time rift shards and that's it uh and if i wanted to get the fantasy or the accessory or maybe the portrait or the frame i would have to spend literally hundreds of dollars which is just absolutely insane or i would have to use my dark crystal so the fact that it's such a disparity like i literally can pull five and there's i don't know what 50 60 of the options there is just a little too much for me and my taste so i think the best way to do handle this is is that when you have pay to win events like this like exceptionally pay to win events and then your events outside of this aren't exciting then you have a problem and that's where i think that this game is going right now um i think that they did a really good job honestly on the last event with the uh star grit the stardust and you had to log in to do daily activities and the rewards were decent at least for the first beginning part of the shop that's actually it was actually a really solid amount of rewards but then with these two last events or with the gotcha earlier on and then these two events you have a boring event coupled with a pay to win event and that's a bad combo again i have no problem with getting rewards i'm the, with the reward system that is great to me but the problem is, is that it's not an engaging event and when you have a situation where people are bored out of your daily content and you really really do want to go ahead and um and get people log in in preparation for the upcoming new event you really really do want to make sure that you're making people log in so hopefully we we do get some sort of cool event upcoming let me know what you think guys think in the comment section down below uh maybe again you all think differently i know there's gonna be some people that uh, are gonna say uh wow like it's a free game they give you your good rewards and you're complaining regardless i think that's a kind of a poor mindset to have because again the whole point is that we don't owe anything to these developers they don't owe anything to us technically however we're playing their game we're promoting it and so if they want to make a good game and hold on to the player base which they should want to do and you want to have an overall kind of more uh expansive player base you're going to have to make these improvements regardless of what you think what should happen this is how to get more players playing your game so it doesn't matter if you think we're entitled to something it doesn't matter if you think we're not it all that matters is you want more people to play your game 
and therefore this is how you're going to do it right so hopefully that makes sense um at least that's my opinion on how you're going to do it let me know what you think in the comment section down below are you tired of these types of events i know i'm not excited i'm free to play here so if anyone um, is going to get anything, it's not going to be me, right? Because I'm not going to go ahead and invest my dark crystals into um, an event that's just going to give me a cosmetic and get absolutely nothing from that. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel, and I'll see you for the next one, guys. Thank you.